think I, I might be the one laughing. But yes, we have a hippo down there in the dam. He doesn't seem to be as friendly as the ones earlier on. I wonder if he just doesn't really like the company. But he is um, accompanied by a number of species. So we've got a pair of Egyptian geese and white-faced whistling dogs sharing the dam with him. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by them, I'm sure because he knows he's actually the king of the pond. Or the king of the dam in this occasion. It would be quite wonderful if he actually came out and started feeding around just so that we could see a hippo outside of the water. Because their buddies are quite funny, they are accustomed to their life in the water but not really to their life on the sea. Hey, on the sea. What am I saying? They're not a whale. Are you gonna... It'd be quite wonderful if he actually came out and started feeding around just so that we could see a hippo outside of the water. Because their buddies are quite funny, they are accustomed to their life in the water but not really to their life on the sea. Hey, on the sea. What am I saying? They're not a whale. Are you gonna have a fright? Rushi, you were wondering if the hippos live in the water during the night or if they come to the shore. Well, it's a bit of a mixed, mixed thing. So hippos do most of their feeding during the night. So as the sun starts going down, they will come out of the water or the dam where they are and they'll start traveling all around um, the water body where they are just to feed. So at this time of the year, they don't have to travel too far to find food. They can just move uh, all around. I wonder if he's going to give us another wonderful yawn. Yes. Come on. Now it seems like he's playing and hard to hard to yawn. <laughs> so, sorry, Rishi. Going back to your question, they can sleep outside, but normally during the night they'll just wander around and start feeding. If you can imagine, uh, now everything's green. There's a lot of grass, but during the winter times there isn't as much, so they're forced to travel further and further away from the water bodies just to be able. There we go again. Nice big yawn underwater. Yes. <gasps> How amazing was that? Full on display. That is wonderful. That is, so that's exactly what he's doing just to advertise himself as the owner and the dominant male around this pond. So if there were another male around, this is when things can get a bit complicated between them or a bit heated and the arguments start happening between them and they would start fighting with one another and just banging their tusks and just trying to bite each other until one of them eventually has to back down and then move away. And I think in this case, this display is all for us. Not, I don't think he feels particularly threatened by us, but he's just letting us know that this is a safe distance and that he doesn't want us any closer. I wouldn't really try my luck going into the water with the hippo, so everything's just fine. But uh, yes, sorry, going back again to your question before he starts yawning again, Rishi. They can sleep underneath the water and they can sleep on the shore, but often you'll find that they'll do this during the day. Especially when it's nice and warm or when it starts warming up, they can sleep uh, on the sides of the dam or on the sides of, or the shores of the river just to warm up and as it starts getting hotter very often you'll see they'll come back into the water and will start sleeping in the water just to prevent their skin from or themselves from dehydrating i don't think he's moving now he's just making us puzzle that is quite nice so you see how fast they move they don't swim they're a bit too heavy to swim but they the water he's just walking on the water actually <laughs> That, that was quite funny. It's almost like, like a dog when they're trying to show up. So he is actually standing, like I was saying. They stand about maybe 1.4 meters or so from the ground. So they're not too... Oh, actually, maybe even more. But uh, yeah, they don't float. They're a bit too heavy for that. So when you see the hippos underneath the water are moving around, that is actually them running underneath the water. So when we saw him earlier, that's what probably what he was doing. And a lot of the times we tend to underestimate them because, you know, such a big animal in the water, we're used to swimming, so we know we cannot go that far. But these guys, they can run in the water at a speed of about 8 kilometers an hour. 
but still, I mean, we saw him earlier, and that was not full speed. So this is a lot of the times why there are some accidents with hippos in these areas, because you will think that they are at a distance, but you don't realize that they can actually cover that ground very quickly. This is wonderful. This is one of the best displays I've seen in a while. Super dude, you'd like to know what potential predators hippos have. Um, when they're this big, not too many predators, not too many things will go uh, for them. Unless they've got some... Oh, we've got another predator around here making their way. One that you may know as Byron. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you also a predator? <laughs> I think your cameraman is very handsome too. Much of a predator. Look at those guns showing off. Got the lens cap there, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're. Oh, you see, you you made our friend go away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks for saying hello. All right, so I think uh, our friend the hippo has just gone a bit further away. I think he was a bit friendlier with me because I'm a girl and he's a boy and he saw the boys and too much competition. That is a terrible joke. I am really sorry. <laughs> Let's just go slightly forward and see if we can see him again. Right. Um, Super dude, sorry, we were in the process of uh, answering your question about potential hippo predators. So when they are this big, mm, I think their biggest predator are actually humans and, and us maybe shooting them for retaliation or, you know, the lack of habitat. That is probably the worst thing for all the animals around. Just there aren't enough wilderness areas for them to live in. When they are smaller, however, lions would be their main predators, sometimes in areas more towards Botswana, where predators like hyenas are a bit more aquatic, I would say they could also be a bit of a problem. Crocodiles for very young, for very young hippos could also be a bit of a threat, a big, big, big crocodile against a small hippo. The small hippo would really have not much of a chance. But other than that, they, they I think they're quite intimidating animals so not too many predators will try their luck with them just like as we've seen in a few times those very sharp teeth and as we were discussing earlier on they have a very powerful bite so not too many things actually want to get in the way of a hippo